All right, all right. What's going on, fellas? My name is Nigel oh, Chan. No. It's a big gold belt. Man, yeah. No over there, man. Look at how oh, strong. You know what time it is. It's here. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> let's let's get into it. Um, all of you have very and I finished all of season two. All of y'all have very special moments. Um, and all contribute to the world of professional wrestling in different ways, which makes me want to know upon coming into season one, now finishing season two. Is there still elements about the business that you're still discovering or moments that were kind of a shocker to you about it, uh, whether you were doing a podcast or switching promotions or the love interest within the promotion? All these sorts of different things are split with all your characters here, not pointing fingers nowhere Well, some knows who. But uh, <laughs> were, there, were there other added elements that you all have learned uh, about the business from filming uh, the show? Uh, of course, man, from season one to season two, just kind of living out through these characters and going through their struggles and learning the different nuances of what it takes to be an independent wrestler and in that route to becoming mainstream. And um, the second season allows us to learn more as the characters are dive. We're diving deeper. We're diving deeper into their personal story, We're diving deeper in their personal wants and their desires and the reason behind their dreams. So, um, so yeah, it's just more depth to what we've discovered in the first season with just the hint of these guys' story and their journey in wrestling. Hey champ, next time you, you had a belt when you show up to these junkets. All right. Come on, <laughs> come on man. This is what I'm trying to listen. You, I, I'm, I was already complaining about that. Don't y'all next question. Call them out. <laughs> Call them out. <laughs> How about you, Robbie? Yeah, me too, man. I, I think for me, it was it's exactly what Alan said is like the depth of of finding out about what this world is like. And I mean, as an actor, there's similarities, man. But I think like the wrestling world is, is dare I say, harder to make it. I mean, there's no the rules are way less. I mean, there's no unions. There's no uh, us actors at least got a little bit of wiggle room there. Um, but I, I think for me, it was that it was like discovering, you know, how hard it really is to make it in this world is 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 uh is interesting to me. Yeah, go ahead, Trey. Uh, I think seeing, seeing uh, what you see in the sort of the stories in, in this season, uh, you know, you you know it conceptually that any job kind of reaches its fingers into your life, like it affects you in ways that when you clock in and you clock out, if you clock out, anything you do is still gonna you know. You get text messages from the boss or this thing, you know, you get frustrated with this coworker or something. And I think seeing how like these guys don't get to turn off. Not yeah. really. Like they don't, they um it's physical every single day. You you have to, there's some level of the persona you have to carry with you all the time, uh, especially in public. And you know, the, seeing I think what's cool about this season is is you know. Season one was like kind of felt like a great introduction to like this world. And season two, you kind of get to see what this world does to people's lives. Yeah. The good and the bad. And I think that that's uh, uh, what I really enjoyed about this part. It's like you've got to you got to weigh all these different elements of like your own desires as a, as a character. And then but like the world around you and how there's no the boundaries are so much thinner than other kinds of jobs and lifestyles, you know? So it's, that part was pretty, it was fun to explore that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. De yeah, definitely. Uh, I got another question, but really quickly, as Robbie mentioned, you're talking about the union, let's get our writers and get our actors paid. Come on. Go down out there. Yes, Do um, but for your characters on screen here, uh, whether you're currently watching wrestling or have watched wrestling in the past, is there influence from anybody or has there been inspiration from anybody currently to kind of really add into the mix of your characters again we got all you all hitting in different facets. you got a champ here you know coming out with a little polished new gimmick again you got uh you doing a podcast as well um and, and there may be some competition within the potential love triangle we all know a little bit about that as well also you hit the convention space which is a whole new world uh yeah. in, in terms and that's that's a that's a funny but scary episode but is there yeah, influence yeah. or is there inspiration um with your characters i can't believe you would ask rooster such a, such a question there's no influence there is no greater influence than rooster the, the, 
You think somebody can influence Rook? Robbie, can you answer that question? I am the influence. <laughs> every day, man. Every day. This was it. Every oh, day. It's just, this is crazy. <laughs> you know, man, for me, like, uh, I, I met this dude named Conan. Uh, I don't know if you know Conan. Absolutely. He just gave the Hall of Fame speech for Ray Mysterio, of course. Yeah, yeah. Man. He's a monster, man. And and he gave me, like, he gave me the whole behind the scenes of some of those promotions and some of the politics that happens at them and 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 all that kind of stuff. And and then now he's doing a podcast, too. So I, I really picked his brain on, on all those kind of things. And for me, Conan, man, it was a, a big inspiration for sure. And being Cuban as well. I mean, he's a Cuban. Yeah. Wrestler, so. Yep. Yep. Anything you want to add there, Trey? Not going to uh, talk to uh, Alan. I, I just kind of found little things all over the place that I thought were fun. You know, I, I, I back in the day, I, I was, a, as a kid, I loved the British Bulldog. And so I don't know if there was any correlation between him and Bobby this year, but I think at least the enthusiasm that he had, <laughs> he put in, I always, uh, that was, you know, try to put that in there. But yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen, for your time today. Hills season two is premiering on Stars July 28th for uh Trey, for uh Robbie, and for Alan, the, the one who couldn't stay loyal down with the family. It's been a pleasure to talk to I you all. Today. Be all that. Bring it that up. <laughs>